finals and SAQ1, spinal cord injury. A. What characteristic neurological changes occur immediately and in the first three months following transaction of the spinal cord at the fourth thoracic vertebrae? 25 marks. Neurological changes can be divided into sensory, motor, and autonomic. During the immediate period, there is complete sensory loss below the level of injury. Sensory loss to a variable extent occurs above the level of transaction due to secondary injury, hemorrhage, edema, and ischemia. Spinal shock results in flaccid paralysis. Reflexes are obliterated as these are dependent on tonic descending facilitation. In neurogenic shock, there is loss of sympathetic function with unopposed parasympathetic activity, resulting in hypotension, bradycardia, and possibly arrhythmias. Loss of autonomic reflexes such as voiding, power emptying, and coital function occurs. Changes at 3 months. There is ongoing sensory loss. There is chronic neuropathic and nociceptive pain. Hyperreflexia with spasticity due to upregulation of receptors facilitating reflexes and new interneurons developing. Autonomic dysreflexia or sympathetic hyperreflexia occurs. There is abnormal synapse development in the spinal cord distal to the lesion. Non-noxious stimuli causes reflex sympathetic output below the level of the lesion. This causes lower body and splunknic vasoconstriction, increased SVR, hypertension, activation of the baroreceptor reflex, vasodilation above the level of the lesion, and bradycardia, which is insufficient to reduce the blood pressure to normal. Onset is variable and may take up to a year to develop. Bowel emptying, voiding, and coital reflexes return, but may not be efficient. Many patients require urinary catheterization. What other clinical problems may develop following this type of injury? 40 marks. A mnemonic for clinical problems includes A for airway, B for respiratory, C for cardiovascular, D for neurological, central, peripheral, and autonomic, E for endocrine, F for pharmacology, G for GI, H for hematology, I for immunology and infection, J for joints, K for kidneys, L for liver, M for metabolic, N for nutrition, O for obstetric, and P for psychological. Respiratory problems include failure of expansion of the rib cage due to loss of innervation of intercostal muscles. Failure of expansion of rib cage causes reduced tidal volumes. Inefficient seesaw breathing. The diaphragm contracts and pushes the abdominal contents down and up due to loss of abdominal wall tone and the chest wall being sucked in. Breathing is worse in the sitting position. Abdominal contents pull down the diaphragm. There is expanding expiratory intrathoracic volume and reduced volume for expansion in inspiration. Increased proportion of minute ventilation is spent on ventilating dead space. VQ mismatch and atelectasis occurs. Difficulty in clearing secretions predisposes to pneumonia. Loss of abdominal wall tone causes inefficient coughing. Cardiovascular problems. Neurogenic shock causes vasodilation and bradycardia, which leads to hypotension. Postural hypotension is prevalent. Spinal cord injury patients are sensitive to fluid depletion. Hypotension is exacerbated by positive pressure ventilation. Neurogenic shock may last 24 hours to several weeks. Autonomic dysreflexia predisposes to periods of uncontrolled hypertension. Hypertension may lead to headache, flushing, nasal congestion, seizures, retinal hemorrhages, stroke, coma, and death. There is increased risk of ischemic heart disease due to physical inactivity and development of diabetes. Difficult intravenous access may occur due to fragile skin and reduced surface blood flow. Endocrine problems. Hyperglycemia may be caused by the initial stress response. Hyperglycemia exacerbates secondary neurological injury. There is increased risk of diabetes in the long term. Gastrointestinal problems. Reduced GI motility 
causes delayed gastric emptying, which increases the risk of aspiration. Paralytic ileus, constipation, and pseudo-obstruction may occur. There is increased incidence of gallstones and their complications. Stress ulceration are more common due to unopposed vagal activity. Hematological problems, thromboembolic disease due to immobility and thrombogenicity of trauma. Increased risk of falls due to muscle spasms. Increased risk of anemia. Immune problems includes nosocomial colonization with multi-resistant organisms. Musculocutaneous problems includes contractures due to spasticity and pain. Osteoporosis due to loss of limb use. An increased risk of pressure sores, including unusual places such as the occiput. Genitourinary problems include nephrogenic bladder, reduced sensory and motor function, causes incomplete voiding, which predisposes to infection, uncoordinated voiding leads to vesicourethral reflux and chronic kidney disease. Intermittent or long term catheterization is usually required. Poor temperature regulation may occur due to vasodilation, which leads to heat loss and lack of ability to sweat below the level of injury leads to hypothermia. Psychological problems include depression, suicidal risk, and drug addiction. List the advantages of a regional anesthetic technique for a cystoscopy in this patient, 20 marks. Regional anesthesia is Advantages as it avoids autonomic dysreflexia, avoids the need for intubation of a patient who may previously had a tracheostomy with its attendant complications such as stenosis, avoids deterioration in lung function associated with GA, reducing the risk of post-op respiratory complications, avoids opioid use with associated respiratory depression, avoids unopposed parasympathetic response to airway instrumentation. There is reduced risk of aspiration associated with delayed gastric emptying with regional anesthesia. D. Why and when may saxametonium be contraindicated in a patient with spinal injury? 15 marks. This is due to upregulation of nicotinic acetylcholine receptors in the extrajunctional sites, which causes massive potassium efflux with saxametonium use. The resultant hyperkalemia may lead to life-threatening arrhythmias. This is seen between 72 hours following injury and 6 months.